Drew is pretty much Oscar's hero. <laughs> I'm sure the feeling is mutual. Which is why Drew will not give up on Oscar without a fight. We um, already scheduled a, a meeting with uh, Dr. Randolph to discuss any new options. So what's, what's the prognosis? I don't know, but... You know, if this could give him just a little more time, you know, even if it's just a few months. <laughs> about Oscar. Well, you weren't a part of that kid's life until he was a teenager, but from an outsider looking in, things look pretty great, so just, what's your secret? Uh, Franco, I don't follow. How do you deal with a teenager? I don't. Because, you know, I'm really good with Jake, and Aiden and I are okay, and Cameron a lot less than okay. tough not to crack. And everything I do is the wrong thing to do, yeah. right? And I know he's a teenager, and he's going to grow out of it, because that's what kids do, right? They grow up. If you're lucky, that's what happens. That's but it's just a, It's so obvious to me, you know, seeing the two of you together, that you're just there for him, you know? Like, like you're never going to let anything bad happen to him. You're always going to be there for him. You're just... You're, you're, you're yeah, there. Can you just shut up for a minute, please? Shut up. I, I should have done that. I, I'm, it's been stressful lately. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Hey, okay, most of my life, if somebody would apologize to me, it would give me great joy. What I'm feeling right now is concern for you, which is kind of new for me, so maybe we should explore that. I should go. Okay, well, uh, hold on a second. Um, no pressure here, but if you ever want to talk, it's pretty obvious that you don't want to talk right now, but if you ever do want to talk, then okay. Franco. Don't give up on Cameron. He needs you. He probably doesn't realize it now, but he does. He does? Yeah. When I was with Elizabeth, uh, the kids were younger, so in a lot of ways it was easier for me, but I still cherish that time. I mean, we, we, we all, uh, we've all moved on, but I wouldn't change a thing. You wouldn't? No. It can be. Not a single thing. You know, actually, I, I don't think I know what to do with Oscar if I didn't take parenting one-on-one -on -one from Elizabeth. She's the best. Yeah. She is. She's the best. And she deserves the best. So are those kids, so don't forget that. I won't. I won't. I won't forget that. And if everything goes well, I will be delivering triplets later today. Oh, let me know how that goes. <laughs> and Kim, you call me if you need me. I will. And thanks for this morning. And for being such a good friend. Always. Hey, Elizabeth. Oh, what's wrong? I'm so sorry about Oscar. Yeah, well, it's, uh... Kim told me the night he was admitted. Yeah, I figured. You know, I'm, I'm glad she's got you to turn to. We're both so... We're torn up right now, and, uh, just glad that person is you. I'm here for you, too. 